Hey, I wanted to make a video today on an old Burnham commercial boiler with a Gordon Hyatt dual fuel. Call came in for a main flame failure. Three P interlock. Problem is, is the main flame failure signal will confuse a lot of people, especially the facility engineers. Because it doesn't actually mean it has anything to do with the flame. 3P interlock is going to tell you right there that it most likely has absolutely nothing to do with flame whatsoever. It's something within the 3P interlock, um, which absolutely could be anything depending on who wired the piece of equipment. Um, I'm going to say I suspect it has something to do with this low water cutoff. Not sure if you can see, but water level is right at the line and it looks like a new hay so in my mind I'm gonna say most likely as this boiler builds up steam within a few minutes it'll kick out on low water and then it'll throw that flame failure coat so what I think is is that new head was put on and it wasn't adjusted properly and uh, we're not getting proper feed water to uh, fill the boiler back up in time before it goes out into a 3 to p interlock. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run it. We'll watch it and see if the line dips below the level. And then if that's what kicks it out, no alarm. And if it fills back up in time. I already did check the condensate tank. Condensate tank's full, pumps come on as needed. So what I'm gonna suspect is with a new head, the floats are not the adjustment on the float is not set up properly, so we're not getting enough water in there before it kicks it into an alarm. So, I'm gonna run the equipment and uh, see what happens. Low water alert, 3P interlock open. Once the control timed out, went main flame, the water went away. That's what the confusion's from. Water levels back up to the line, which means the pump's doing what it's supposed to do. So as I suspected, the level, the float in here, the level needs to be adjusted so it can bring higher feed water in faster so that it doesn't kick in a low water. So we'll adjust it and uh, see what happens. In case you were wondering what I meant by the switches, there's a switch here and a switch there. The first switch is for condensate pump, the second one's alarm. Uh, I'll show you. Push this one up, pump comes on, push this one up, alarm. Now I'll adjust it and we'll go from there. 